Hi, this is Teresa, the author of Hook, Loop, and Lock. I put together a few tips so you can achieve great results with your confetti tote bag kit. If you've lock or hooked a basket design before, you'll know exactly what to do. But since this kit includes heavy twine and new fabric strips, I think these tips are sure to help. The confetti tote bag is locker hooked in the round and you overlap your canvas to make that round shape. You're also using a batik strip that is slightly heavier than most batiks and it creates a really nice texture. But you want to fold over the, the very edge of your fabric strip as you're pulling up your loops as I'm doing here. And this will give you a nice uniform finish once you're done. Also remember that you need to locker hook loops that are about half an, half an inch to three eighths of an inch in height. And this will also give you a nice even um, feel once it's done. Be sure to tug on your loops every time you pull up a loop. Make sure it's about a half inch high and then pull up another loop and tug every time. This way you have consistent height. And then when you get to the overlap area, you'll be overlapping by four squares and you're going to want to take one square at a time. I think this will make it easier for you. Then you can also clamp your canvas uh, at the edge here like I've done so that it keeps your canvas in the round as you work through the canvas pieces. So pull up your first loop and uh, give it a nice tug and then pull the locking medium through and then go through and do another one or another two, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then you just keep going and finish locker hooking. The confetti tote bag kits use a hand dyed and hand stamped fabric strip that is actually lighter on the wrong side. So you can sometimes tell and sometimes it's really hard to tell. But if you're finicky about it, then just take care to hold your strip flat as you're hooking it and uh, on occasion fold over the edge so you get those nice even loops. It's, it's not essential if you miss one or two because you won't be able to tell. But this is just a, a quick tip for those of you that like that rich color on the surface. To lock or hook with the twine, you need to double up on it. And each row takes approximately eight yards of the doubled up twine. So make sure that you're pulling up two uh, strings of twine and give it a nice tug. And you also want your twine to be slightly higher than the fabric strips, around 3 eighths of an inch, a little, a little higher. And use your uh, hands and fingers to get the, the strings pulled up together. And you just keep doing that and give it a nice tug every time you pull up your loops and continue to tug away. You're also, if you know, you're going to be using the twine as a locking medium and each row takes approximately one yard. So cut a yard of uh, twine for locking medium and thread it through your locker hook. And then you'll be ready to start hooking that row of twine. And as you can see, they pull up really nicely and the twine just fits right through and creates a nice backdrop so that you don't see the canvas. Once you've finished locker hooking the body of the tote bag, it's time to finish that edge. And I like using this really nice shimmering uh, rayon ribbon. It is included in your kit. And you wanna thread it through your tapestry needle and wrap that edge. You wanna cover the canvas completely. And so when you get started, you leave a tail and then you take stitches and you're just basically whip stitching the edge to cover it completely. And if you need to, uh, definitely take double stitches in each square to achieve that even coverage. You don't want any of the canvas showing. You continue to wrap that tail until it's completely invisible and you continue whip stitching until you've completely covered the edge. Once you've done locker hooking your two pieces and you've finished sewing in your tails, then you're ready to assemble your tote bag. And you wanna take a strip of fabric and thread it through your tapestry needle. 
and then you just want to pair up the bottom with the body and take that first stitch and it doesn't really matter where you begin just anywhere around the bottom the goal here is to achieve complete coverage of that canvas and you're working with a fabric strip that's wide enough so you'll get really good coverage but if you have to you can definitely take two stitches in one square, whatever is needed to get good coverage. When you take your first stitch, you want to leave a tail, and as you stitch around, you're going to want to cover that tail completely. The key here is to just take your time so that you're using your hands and your fingers to flatten the fabric strip as you pull through to get that, that good coverage. Okay, there's the first stitch, and then we're going to take a few more and continue all the way around until you have completely attached the bottom to the top. And then once you're done, you're going to want to leave a long tail, and uh, I'd say about, I like leaving about a two to three inch tail, maybe even four inches, and then you're going to sew that in, and that should secure it. And here we are taking the final stitches, and this is the way it should look, completely covered. And you can see the bottom stitches. It's a big stitch. You can see a nice border there, and it looks good. And now you want to sew in your tail. Use your tapestry needle and feed it through the first row of loops. And I like sewing in a, a long tail, as I said before. I think this helps. You can do a few stitches at a time. And let's sew in a few more. Just feed it through the loops and pull it out the other end. Now when you're working on assembly, it's inevitable you'll get some fraying and you wanna make sure that you arrange everything so it's nicely covered. And just use your scissors I'm using some large scissors here, but you probably want some fine craft scissors to trim off those extra frayed edges. And then clip your tail, and to make sure everything's nicely covered. And there we go. And now we're ready to attach the handle. And I've already attached one side. And to do this, you want to center it in, in the very center and make sure it matches the previous one if you've already attached it. But it should be four and a quarter inches from the outside, approximately. So just make sure you, you measure that. And then you can mark the area where you're going to start stitching. And you want to start stitching two rows below the top. And then you stitch slightly diagonally. And you're going to do six stitches. And basically, you're just wrapping that handle. And it's really OK to go in through the same square so that you get the stitches close together. And here I'm taking the final stitch. And we want these to be close together. So you can arrange them. Make sure you're, you're taking some tight stitches. And we are going to give that a nice tug. And then you're going to knot on the inside and you're doing a double knot. And um, and they're kind of bulky, but your lining will cover that up, so that shouldn't be a problem. So there you do a double knot, and then you want to add, I would say, a drop of um, fabric glue to hold that in place, hold it nicely secure. And there we go. And you repeat that on the other side, and we're done stitching the handles. The Confetti Tote Locker Hooking Kit includes all materials. Canvas, hand-dyed fabric strips, color twine, ribbon, locking medium, and rattan handles. The Tote Kit is available in four color combinations. Visit ColorCrazy.com for more details.